What's going on, Fight Fans? This is Capital Combat. The name says it all. I'm Rob Jarrell, and this is the initial reaction to tonight's heavyweight rematch for the WBC title heavyweight um, belt that's being held or was held by Deontay Wilder in its rematch against Tyson Fury. And what we got is a pretty much action-packed fight. Uh, they came to fight, but it ended in a seventh-round TKO as Tyson Fury took out the bronze bomber uh, with a series of punches, and he deserved the win. Um, throughout the fight, he seemed to be the much more sharp and assertive fighter. He said that he was going to come out and knock out his opponent early. He said that he felt better, came in in great shape, and um, besides the actual shape, he was very well conditioned, and the time that he took training at Kronk Gym made one hell of a difference in this fight. Um, he wasn't playing around. He was sitting on his punches. He was dictating distance, and he was shooting his jab very stiff, getting on the inside, taking away Deontay Wilder's reach and landing his own sharp one-twos. Uh, there were a lot of them where he was just out jabbing Deontay Wilder, and Deontay Wilder was doing pretty good work. He was landing his right hand, but not really consistently or as hard as he would like. It would just be maybe an inch or roll by Tyson, by Tyson Fury that would take off the impact of those right hands. And we know that he's able to take those right hands because he took quite a few of them in the first fight and really weathered it, got up from a hellacious knockdown, came back with his own, and continued to fight. Having that much bulk coming in at 273, I think he was a little lighter than he was in the last fight. And even Deontay Wilder came in heavier. But that size made a difference. Dictating the ring, being quick on the draw, the Kronk Gym, uh, I still have it have it up, but uh, it just made all the difference. And the one thing that he didn't do, um, we talked about it in preview, he didn't duck down to his right to avoid the jab of the right hand from um, from Deontay Wilder. Fury opted to roll, staying just out of di distance um, so he wouldn't land too flush, rolling, turning back then backing up to recover from what impact he had. And another thing, when he got on the inside, he made Wilder pay. He threw a bunch of punches, he wrestled with them, and a lot of the times, he laid on top of them. He, um, he put all 273 pounds of his bulk on top of Deontay Wilder. And for what it looks like, Deontay Wilder, who did get knocked down, the punch could have been behind the ear, behind the head. It really threw him off. And there were a couple of times where it was tangled up. And Hakeem sent this message to me was that the, his eardrum was busted. And once they got to the corner, you could see the blood coming out of the left ear of Deontay Wilder. And usually when you take a shot like that or a shot where your eardrum is busted, it throws off your equilibrium. It throws off your balance because anyone who knows anatomy knows that a lot of the balance that we maintain in our body starts with the ear canal starts with the ear and the eardrum and when you bust that with the combination of getting hit great body shots someone putting all their weight on you your legs are gone there was not much that Deontay Wilder could do he showed a lot of moxie a lot of toughness staying in as long as he did and it was a TKO the corner stopped it and he wanted to go out on his shield and while he wasn't throwing enough punches back in order to fight Tyson Fury off him, he would throw it here or there. So um, we finally have a king, um, a secondary king. Instead of three, we're down to two kings in the heavyweight division. Now, let's see Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. We talked about that in our, uh, in our preview video. We think that's going to be in the U.K., in uh, Wembley Stadium, Deontay Wilder is going to go to the back of the line or at least one line, maybe get two um, two fights, work on some things, come back and be ready to challenge either Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua. Maybe Anthony Joshua drops a belt and he takes on a guy like Alexander Povetkin, who he should have been fought. Maybe he takes on Joseph Parker, Andy Ruiz, whoever's out there. And... um. That's all I got for you today. We should be bringing you the full recap within the next few days. Um, tell us what you think. Put your thoughts down in the comment section below. Hit us up at uh, Capital Combat Facebook, 
Gmail, Twitter, Instagram. Stay respectful to yourselves. Like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel and if you and hit the bell icon so you can get the latest and greatest from myself and Hakeem going forward for all future fights. And until next time, fight on. This is round one and you've already lost. They don't seem to see that everything we've done is coming and call. My fists are on fire. I perform till I perspire. My demons are in a rage.